guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a brush 101 video. Now I have definitely been accused of having a lot of brushes, but trust me, compared to some of those YouTube beauty gurus out there, my collection is nothing. It's literally minuscule, but I do have brushes I like to use for different things. Today I'm gonna focus on just eye brushes. You guys are definitely in for a surprise if you're not an eyeshadow like guru by any means, that's okay. I'm going to show you some of my essential brushes and this video is going to be super educational. So grab a notepad, grab a pen, and grab a drink and strap in for this eyeshadow brush 101 video. Okay, so this is what I like to store my brushes in. I picked this container up from Hope Look. It was like 10 bucks and it's really great because I can put things into different compartments. Now, as you can see, I've labeled these just because it keeps them separated. Um, so I have crease brushes, I have eyeshadow brushes, and then I have eye detail brushes. These aren't very descriptive. This middle one here is concealer brushes. Obviously, don't pay attention to that. But basically, what I mean by crease brushes are anything that has a fluffy dome shape. Now, this can be really confusing for a lot of you, so definitely pay attention. Now, when we do eyeshadow application, there's a few different steps. You know, some people don't care because that's fine. You know, I'm not really into like hunting and fishing, so I totally get it. Everyone has different like wants and needs and likes. But um, so these are what we call crease brushes or blending brushes. Now, the first way to identify a good crease brush is that it's gonna be nice and fluffy. So if you can see this, this is nice and fluffy. This is, I believe, goat hair. This is from Morphe and this is the R36 brush. So it has a nice dome shape, it's nice and fluffy. And what you do with this is you go into your crease. So this is one of the first brushes you would use when you're doing an eyeshadow look and it goes right in the crease. And you basically use it to buff in a what we call a transition shade. Now a transition shade, again, goes ma mainly into your crease. It can be pulled down a little bit on your lid. It can be pulled up a little bit, not all the way on your brow bone, but definitely like, you know, in your eye socket. It's like a defining shade on your eye look. So usually for a transition shade, I like to use a nice like matte shade, something like this shade Alabama from the Violet Voss Laura Lee palette. I could even use like britches, whiskers, anything that's matte and a very like neutral shade. Pretty close to your skin color is what you would use as a transition shade. So you take that and usually you're gonna take a fluffy brush or a dome brush like this and then you're just gonna apply it. You don't have to be very careful, very detailed. You just take it and you sweep it back and forth in windshield wiper motions. So that is what you use a blending brush for. And again, remember you're looking for a shape like this. This is another blending brush. This is also by Morphe, this is the E22. If you're interested in looking at any of those, another really affordable one is this M521. Um, there's also the Morphe M441, which is Jaclyn Hill's, one of her favorite blending brushes, if you guys are Jaclyn Hill fans. So these are very nice. These are a little bit more affordable, so they're not very soft. They're a little bit scratchy sometimes, so if you have sensitive eyes, I just want you to know that but super, super affordable. So that's what you're going to look for when it comes to a blending brush. Now, don't wanna make it too tricky, but there's different kinds of blending brushes. So as you can see, this one is dome. This one is a little more pointed. So now this, you know, is a more precise crease application. If you wanna do like a cut crease or you wanna concentrate, you wanna do like a gradient, you wanna start with a dark brown, then you wanna go into a dark brown, you can use this for more detail because as you can see, it has a pointed tip, right? And then we have ones like this. This is the M433. This is a Morphe brush again. Now this again is fluffy as you can see, but it's a little bit more pinched at the ferrule here. So what this does is it pinches the bristles, making it a little bit more tapered, which means if you wanna pack on a darker eyeshadow shade, say you're doing a smoky eye, I love to use these in the corner here and then brush that darker shade into my crease. So what I usually do is if I'm working with a dark brown or a black, I'll take some shadow on here and then I'll really stick the brush in my, you know, eye socket here in the corner and then slowly back and forth, back and forth, the dark shade. And then slowly I'll pull the shade, the darker shade into my transition shade to kind of blend everything. But it's nice to have a brush like this because again, it's more tapered, it's a little more precise 
and then just our dome brushes as you can see there's definitely a difference in the size of the domes with these two brushes and again this ferrule is pinched this one is not pinched you guys with me so far Okay, next is an easy one. These are what I like to call shadow brushes. Now, basically, these are what you're gonna use to put on your lid shades. Now, this is a new brush by Wet n Wild. I love these. These are only 99 cents. You can find them at the dollar store. That's where I get mine. I love having brushes like this because, you know, if I lose it, if I throw it away, if I mess it up somehow, I don't feel bad because it's so affordable. But basically, these are what you're gonna use to pack on an eyeshadow lid shade. So if I'm working with glitter, if I'm working with um, just a really pigmented, you know, glitter shadow, this is what I use to pick up that product and then I press the shadow on. You never want to go back and forth with like an eyelid color, especially if it has glitter, because all you're going to do is mess up the shadow and then you're just going to get a ton of glitter. So anytime you're using a shade, any of these shades, like a really pigmented 1986 Biddy, a Hissy Fit, any shade like that, you're just going to want to tap that on your lid. Don't ever try to do the same motion that you do on your crease on your lid because that's just going to ruin your eyeshadow look. So always look for a flat brush like this. Sometimes I really like to go in. This is a new, here, this is one of them. This is one I love. This is a Morphe M224 and they actually sell this as a concealer brush. But I love this for eyeshadow because it's flat, it's synthetic, I can wet this brush and it just does a great job at packing on the shadow. Super, super affordable and then this is just a Wet n Wild one. Now the Wet n Wild one is definitely more fluffy so I definitely like to use this on my brow bone as well. You see that highlight shade right there? I like to pack that on with a fluffy brush because it diffuses the color. I hate seeing girls that have like a full-on cream like brow bone highlight so something like this very diffused but still gives you that little bit of highlight so definitely you know these are a must-have in anyone's you know easy simple go-to eyeshadow brush collection you're definitely going to need some form of a shadow brush okay i told you guys i was going to keep this simple so we're only going to talk about three different types so the last type is a detail brush now eyeshadow it's crazy like you guys see these all of these are my detail brushes now what i mean by detail is detail brushes consist of many varieties you can have pencil brushes so pencil brushes are like these little pointy brushes that you can use to do really detailed work you want to do cut creases you want to do inner corner highlight you want to smoke out the lower lash you want to put polka dots on your lower lash i don't know whatever you think of there is a brush for that so detail brushes are little tiny brushes that you can use to manipulate your eye. I have a variety. Some This one is one of my favorites by Morphe. This is the E36. And also a nice one to have for detail is a flat brush like this. Do you see the tip of this is completely flat? This is a Morphe M432. And this is so great at getting in your lower lash line and blending out eyeshadow. So definitely pick up some of these essentials because they're really nice to have. Some other brushes that are important to have as far as detail goes are things like eyeliner brushes. These are actually like painting brushes that I picked up at Michael's, but they work really well for liquid liner. Um, brow brushes. For brows, you're going to want to use an angle brush. This one is too big. I use the Anastasia one. It's at my vanity right now, so I can't show it to you. But you always want to go with an angle brush that's a little bit stiff. So when you're dipping into that brow powder, you can really carve out those brows. It's always nice to have an angle brush because they're really good, again, for detail. Okay, guys, I hope you found this video useful and entertaining. I've always wanted to make a Makeup Brushes 101 video because I've seen people struggle when it comes to eyeshadow, and I just think it is so important to know what kind of brushes to have in your collection. You don't have to have hundreds of brushes like I do, but just a few basic brushes that you can use with any eye look is definitely an essential. It'll make eyeshadow so much more easy and it'll make it dummy proof. So I do really hope you learned something from this video. If you guys have any ideas of any other things I can do for Makeup 101, I would sure, sure love to make a video on like how to wear blush or how to wear bronze or anything you can think of. Just let me know. Leave me a comment down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and thank you so much for watching. Bye!